Stuff I like. That was great. I want that to play whenever I walk into a room. You know, and that was actually terrific. That was, uh, so we're coming up to Halloween. I think this will probably be the, my last Halloween stuff I like. I can't remember. when. It must be six days from now. That's so, so this is probably my last Halloween stuff I like. To get you away, to wean you from this horrible stuff like Halloween movies, like you know people ripping each other to shreds and gutting each other, where the only thing that's scary. Let me suggest one of the great ghost story writers, E.F. Benson, like all great uh, ghost story writers, he was born in like 1867, so he was in that period, the pinnacle of, uh, of ghost stories, the great British ghost stories. Like almost all male ghost story writers, he was gay. I, I have no idea what that's about. It's like musical comedy, you know, some, some things for some reason, gay guys have the absolute superpower when it comes to writing ghost stories. His most famous story is called The Bus Conductor, and the minute you read it, you'll think, oh, you'll say, oh, I thought that was an urban folktale. It's the one where the guy wants to get on a bus, and the bus conductor says, I have room for one more. It's been made into a Twilight Zone episode. It's been made into everything. But the, what, the story you should look up, and you can get it online, is called Room in the Tower by E.F. Benson. Really spooky. The first two or three pages are some of the spookiest stuff I've ever read. And then... Then go get the movie Dead of Night, 1945 from Ealing Studios in Britain. It is an anthology story, an anthology film of ghost stories, and it's uh, just it's it's terrific. It's not my favorite. My favorite movies, ghost story movies, are The Haunting and The Innocents. But this has some great stuff in it, including a story called uh, I think it's called The Hearse. Did I write it down? No, it's it's called something like the. Um, it, it's, it's, anyway, it's an adaptation of The Bus Conductor by E.F. Benson. So one, they're all famous ghost stories, but they're retold in another way. Dead of Night, really good. 